you know, if I get close to the edge uh, and I'm not painting, I'm not in the zone, I'll find that I am scared of heights. But the moment that I'm really in the zone, it's like you connect to the whole thing again. Like there's no separation between you and it. And if there's no separation between you and it, then how on earth could you be scared of it? Because you're not separate from it. In the setting up, the setting up is a head thing. It's, it's a, like you, you're trying to have an influence on the way everything's constructed. And uh, then there's a little bit of vertigo. There can be a little bit of fear, but the moment that you actually just create, there can't be any fear. Can't be. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm making sure that the easel isn't moving and that's really really important. It's fine if the canvas moves. If the frame itself is moving, the feminine aspect of me, the creator in me, does not have the confidence to create. So it's all about ensuring that the feminine has confidence. So that's why we spend a lot of time really making sure that nothing can move, even if it looks like there's absolutely no wind today. The wind can get up in the mountains really at any time, and it can get up incredibly fast. A sketch to check everything is going to fit in and check the perspective that it's going to be framed nicely. So even though I've painted Mont Blanc many times before, I've never actually painted it quite from this angle before. And it's a really, really interesting angle. As I look at it, it's a way more complicated piece than I originally realized. And as I sketch it, I'm like, in terms of time, we're really going to be up against it. I can tell you that already, maybe wondering, well, why continue sketching? Because in fact, what happens is the sketch goes into the unconscious. It's already there, it's already registered, if you like, all of it. The first few knife strokes always define a painting. It's, the, it's almost like it gives it an energetic footprint already. It's not a time challenge. The real challenge is a challenge about knowing what is enough. We don't value ourselves enough. We don't think we're good enough. We claim we don't have enough time. But actually when you think about the amount of time that we spend just on our phones, aimlessly, wondering, of course we have enough time with all the time in the world. It's how we use our time. So we spend time trying to ensure we did it right, 
or we did it properly. And yet, actually when we slow down and we accept that we're enough, in that moment, it's almost as though time stops. Time slows down, and there is, of course, enough time to do everything. All of that was just perfect timing.